So let's get right into it with the warm up you're going to do with your shooting. You're just going to shoot very close to the wall, very lightly, but focusing on locking your ankle and making good contact on the ball. Um, this is basically the movement or the way we're going to shoot the ball when we introduce more power, but we want you to get as used to the technique as possible and starting off slowly is a great way to do this. Now, I'm someone who's obviously shot a lot and knows the technique and I, I think I have really good shooting ability, but I still warm up with this because it's always good to just reinforce that muscle memory, to reinforce this technique over and over again. So I'll usually always start a shooting session like this if I have a wall where I'll just use proper technique, I'll shoot lightly and make I'll make sure that I'm making good contact on the ball. You also want to use your weak foot here. I recommend using it equally to your dominant foot. You know, if you do not have a strong weak foot when it comes to shooting right now, this routine is going to be one of the ways that you can help improve it. So don't skip your weak foot no matter how frustrating it is during this routine because, you know, again, it's going to take practice to get good with your weak foot and practicing just the technique and hitting it lightly against the wall like this is going to be a great way for you to start introducing this technique to your weak side. Also, for any of you who are confused or have, don't really know what proper shooting technique looks like, I have a video that covers this in pretty good detail. I'll have it come across the screen now, and I'll also have it in the description. So next, we're going to do something similar, except we're going to introduce a few skill moves. Now, I want you to choose two for each side, so meaning two that will get you onto your right foot and two that will get you onto your left foot. And all you're going to do is to slowly perform the move and again, just focus solely on technique as you hit it against the wall. You're not doing this fast pace yet and you're not doing this with full power on your shot. You're just focusing on the movements and kind of, again, committing those movements more to muscle memory. We will later in this routine focus on doing this more at speed and with more power. But for now, I just want you to warm up, get used to the movements and get used to striking the ball correctly. I recommend doing this for five reps for each move. Um, this can vary, you can do more, but I recommend doing at least that many reps. Throughout this routine, I'm gonna give you the recommended minimum repetitions for if you don't have that much time and you need to get this routine done quickly. But again, if you want to get more practice in, you can always increase the reps, increase the amount of things that you do. Never feel that this is like strict or rigid. You can always increase or decrease the reps as you see fit. Okay, so now that you're properly warmed up using the technique, you've done a few movements, you know, you've gotten your body used to it, we're going to start shooting from a further distance. Now, what I want you to do is, again, you're not focusing on full power here. I want you to really focus on technique. That's what this routine is mainly about. You can go for a little more power on some shots if you want, but I really want you focusing on drilling that technique into your head, into your body. So you want to be focusing on locking your ankles, getting over the ball, making good contact, following through in the way that you want to follow through. And what I recommend you do is you do reps for your two main shooting techniques. Now, if you don't know the different types of shooting techniques, again, watch that video, but there are a few different things you can do. For me, exa uh, for example, I like to keep my uh, plant foot on the ground. Sometimes when I shoot, I also like to uh, sometimes land on my kicking foot, so I'll usually practice both of those techniques. And there are other, other subtle techniques that you can learn and can do, um, but ultimately they all try and accomplish uh, more or less the same thing. So what I would have you do is do at least 10 reps of the one main technique that you use. So I call this your default shooting technique. So the one that you use the most often, do 10 reps on your right, 10 reps on your left, and make sure there are 10 good ones on your right and 10 good ones on your left. If it's a bad one, don't count it. Then whatever your second technique is that you like, you're gonna do the same thing. So 10 reps right and 10 reps left at minimum. Remember, you can do more if you want. And again, you're focusing on technique, you're putting a little bit of power into it if you want, but we're really trying to focus on technique. Remember, if you do the technique correctly and you hit the ball well and you strike it sweetly, the power will come. And after you get the technique down and you're able to hit the ball sweetly, you can work on swinging harder or trying to generate even more power. But if you try and do that first without having the technique down, it's not going to work and you won't be able to accurately hit a ball with power. 
Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to introduce or reintroduce those moves you used earlier, except now you're going to be going close to game pace. So instead of slowly and deliberately doing the moves, I want you to do the moves as fast as you can, as if a defender is there, and then shoot the ball. Now all of these moves, um, I forgot to mention earlier, should be moves that allow you to shoot immediately after you perform them. So that's why you'll see I'm doing moves that generally create that yard of space I need to shoot. So you want to perform these moves as fast as you can and then rip your shot on target. Again, I want you to only count good repetitions and I recommend again at minimum doing five for each move. If you have more time, you can do more of this. If there's a move you want to focus more on because it needs more work or it's your main move, then you can do more reps of that if you want. Again, you can customize this however you want. I just recommend that you practice doing your moves at speed, at game pace, and then getting your shot off. And you'll find that this becomes a very valuable skill in games because usually if you have a defender isolated or an opportunity to just create that yard of space and shoot, having a few moves in your repertoire that you can call upon to do this is really going to come in handy. And I scored many, many goals through this method of just performing a skill move very quickly, not with the intention of moving past the defender, but with the intention of creating a yard of space, which creates the opening for me to shoot on target. After that, I like to save a bit of time at the end to do what I call experiment shooting. Now, this is for any technique that you have not really gotten that good at or any technique you want to get a little more practice in. At the end, I want you to start practicing this. So maybe you want to practice knuckling the ball. Maybe you want to practice this new technique that you saw someone else do. Maybe you just want to start intuitively trying to see if there are different ways you can strike the ball to make it do different things. Save five to ten minutes at the end to do this. I don't have a recommended number of reps you do this for I just like to do it for five maybe ten minutes where I'll practice maybe doing a knuckleball a quick swipe shoot or something like that or techniques that are outside my two main techniques that I use to shoot and this is good because it's going to allow you to experiment and see you know which techniques you could possibly work on in the future in order to add even more to your shooting repertoire so leave five minutes at the end, 10 minutes at the end to experiment, to practice shooting with maybe more power. Um, and at this, at this rate, at this point, you're not necessarily focused on technique. You're just focusing on learning some new things, trying some new things and experimenting. And I think experimenting with your game um, shouldn't be the main thing you do. You should really usually stick um, with what works, but I do think there's a place for it so that you can learn new things and try new things. After that, I recommend you get some form of a cooldown going. You should also be warming up before doing this routine as well, by the way. Um, but get some kind of cooldown, get some stretching going, especially after a shooting session like this, because um, you know if you don't do a cooldown after this, you are really going to be more susceptible to injury, to soreness, to tightness. So make sure you get some kind of uh, dynamic cooldown, but also static stretching as well. Um, I find this really helpful. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you like these kind of routines and if you want me to post more of them for different areas of your game, like ball control, passing, receiving, and all that. I will definitely consider um, creating more videos around these routines so that you can use them. If there are any other drills with a wall that involve shooting that you like to do, and I haven't mentioned, please let me, us know in the comments and we could possibly add it to this routine um, to make it even more potent, to make it even more impactful. So let me know in the comments below. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and share it around. That means more players will um, see it. If you support the channel, I would really appreciate it if you share it. Um, that's a great way to show your support because it helps the channel to grow. Also, if you're new to Simply Soccer, please consider subscribing as we release new videos every single week designed to help you improve as a footballer. I will have two videos come across the screen. I recommend you check out the uh, shooting technique video, which will also be in the description, just because it's going to help you with this routine. Thanks once again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.